you how to make your very own tangram puzzle. A tangram is a puzzle that's got seven geometric shapes and these shapes can be moved around and manipulated to make loads of different pictures and patterns. So let's get started. To do this you will need a square piece of paper or card that measures 10 centimetres by 10 centimetres. Any colour will do and you can even grab something from the recycling for this. You're also going to need a ruler, a pen and a pencil, some scissors and some colouring in supplies. Now if you don't have fancy drawing your own tangram today, you could always download and print out our ready made set from the description down below. Step 1. Take your square sheet of paper and measure 5 centimetres down the left hand side and along the top. Mark with a dot. Connect your dots together. Step 2. Draw a line from the top right corner all the way to the bottom left corner. Step 3. Line your ruler up with the top left to the bottom right corner. We're going to draw a line, but this time don't go all the way. Start at the very first line we drew and connect it down to the bottom right corner. Step 4. Start from where we just started in step 3 and draw a straight line down towards the bottom of the page. Stop where we drew our line in step 2. This new line should be parallel to the left hand side of our paper. Step 5. Measure 5 centimetres down the right hand side of your paper and mark it with a dot. Line your ruler up with the middle point at the top of our paper and our new dot. Draw a line starting from the top but stop halfway when you meet the line that we made in step 2. If you fancy, at this stage you could add some colour to your tangram. You might even want to give each piece a different pattern. Let's speed this up. Take your scissors and carefully cut out the pieces of your tangram. Now that we've cut out our shapes, you can see we've got two large triangles, one medium one, two smalls, a square and a parallelogram. These shapes are actually really interesting, especially the two small triangles, because together they can fit inside all of our other shapes. Let's look at our square first. We can fit two small triangles on top of our square. And we can do the same with our parallelogram. two small triangles on top of our medium triangle. It takes two medium triangles to fill our large one. So how many small triangles would it take to fill the large triangle? Now that you've had a chance to play around, do you think you could rearrange the shapes back into the original square that we started with? Give it a go and see how much you can remember. It's not as easy as it looks. <sighs> that was a bit tricky, wasn't it? I wonder what else I could make with the seven pieces. Maybe an animal? My favourite animal's a duck, so why don't we try that? I did it! Here's my duck. I've got a beak, a head, a body, I've even got a wee triangle for its feet. <laughs> nice. I wonder what else I could make. Oh, that gives me an idea. I wonder if I could challenge someone to see how many animals they could make with the tangrams. Oh, I bet you David would be amazing at this. Hi Claire. You know that I love puzzles, so I am well up for this challenge. I've got my set of tangrams right here. 
Oh, brilliant, I knew you'd be up for it. Okay, so here's the game. You need to make as many animals as you can with the tangrams. Now, I've just had a bit of a play around and I've managed to beat three. If you think you can beat that. Okay then, let's do it. Awesome, okay, you better go and get started, David. Why don't you join in at home as well and see how many animals you can make? Well done, David. That was actually pretty impressive. I suppose you won this time. How did you get on at home? Why don't you challenge your friends and your family to see what they can create with the tangrams? And make sure to send us photos. We would love to see how you get on. I could certainly use some inspiration if I'm going to beat David next time we play. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you later.